Hello YouTubers, this is going to be one of the first video where I start sharing with you some of my thoughts about the, the principles of, of better software engineering, what kind of mindset you need to have when you're writing software. This is not uh, one of those, my very specific technical videos where I start talking about a specific technology or, or a specific pattern or architecture. This is more of a, a bigger picture uh, engineering mindset where I get to tell you how I personally tackle certain problems uh, in engineering and you know it's it's a it's 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 really a privilege to be able to share these kind of thoughts uh, with everyone uh, on the internet and um, you know a while back I, I made a video about how to become a successful software engineer and uh, it seemed that a lot of people really liked the video and I thought I'd, I'd continue to share some of my thoughts about success what, what, what it really takes and what kind of mindset you really need to go from just a, a person who just writes code and thinks that all their problems are in code to an engineer, someone who can see the entire process end to end, someone who can't see someone who can see way past the source code, the, the, the or or the code or the problem or the requirements that they're trying to solve. Um, so anyways in the description of this video uh, you'll see an article that I published uh, very recently. It's called the Software Engineering Manifesto and it's basically a bunch of principles and a bunch of uh, ideas that I've learned in the past decade and a half writing software that helped me understand certain problems and tackle certain problems and help me personally evolve and I want to share that with you. So uh, today I'm going to talk about the first principle of these or the first uh, 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 rule of this uh, engineering manifesto and um, feel free to leave a comment or a question or if you agree or disagree I'd love to you know discuss these um, these problems with you and uh, you'd be surprised by how fast I can I can actually uh, very promptly answer your questions uh, in the comment section so anyways uh, the, the first the first thing the first principle I want you to think about is something that you actually face on a day-to-day -day basis. Every day you go to work or you have your own software company and you're working on an app or working on a, on a thing, you have to go and sit down and write some code. Right? You're sitting down and writing some code and solving a certain problem or implementing a new feature. And then you run into some problems, things you may or may not know. There are two cases here. For the things that you know, you know you've solved similar problems in the past and you're already familiar with how to solve this problem so a lot of engineers just jump into solving that problem the exact same way they used to solve that problem 10 years ago or five years ago right this is not an, an, an evolving mindset this is not a growth mindset because when you solve older problems with older solutions and older ways you're not really getting any benefit from solving that problem other than that you're moving cards across the agile board right you're not personally evolving and learning it's very important for you to take advantage and take every single opportunity that you get involved in the software development process that you evolve personally and learn something and grow out of it right um, the first thing here a lot of people like I said they just jump into the very a common or familiar solution right these are seasoned engineers they ran into these problems in the past they just oh I know how to fix this and they just go in and write the code and they move the card and they get all the praise that's bad and I'll tell you why things change problems may stay the same but solutions for these problems continue to evolve as we grow and learn and evolve and our knowledge base expand and we see more things we tend to go back to solve older problems in newer ways so instead of jumping to the problem that you're working with with the most familiar solution keep that familiar solution in mind but go out there on the internet and ask your colleagues about that problem tell them hey if you were to have this problem what would be the best way to solve this problem and I promise you this, you'll be very surprised by how fast and how evolved things are, how things change so fast for the same problems. Like maybe a month, maybe two months ago, you'd solve the same problem. Two months, three months later, you know, the problem, there's already a library or this wrapper or this new technique or pattern or architecture that solves the same problem in a lot cleaner way. So the first thing here, when you know a problem, you know the solution, go, go out there and ask some questions. 
See how people recently, and Google gives you that kind of power. Google and Bing will give you that power to actually search for the most recent answers to a specific problem. So go find what's the most recent answer to a specific problem. This way you get to learn and stay up to date with the problems that you're trying to solve. And at the same time, you're growing and evolving and getting work done at the, at the same time. This is how you get the most benefit possible from a specific task. On top of that, don't forget that if you find a new solution to a problem, share it with the world. You know, blog about it, put it on Stack Overflow, put it wherever you want to put it, share it with the world. This is how we collectively, as a collective mind, evolve, right? Now, there's the other kind of people that don't know the answer. They're not familiar with the answer. So what they do is that they jump into the first thing that works on Stack Overflow. They say, oh my God, how to solve this problem? Here's Stack Overflow, here's the answer. I'm gonna pick that up and just slap it in my source code and that's it, and move on with my day and I'm a hero. That's the worst thing you can ever do because not every answer on Stack Overflow, not every top result in Google or Bing are the best results. Actually, funny enough, like two days ago, I was looking for a problem with authentications, with controllers and whatnot, and the answers that I saw on Stack Overflow are really, really hacky. You know, some people wrote like 20 lines of code to solve a certain problem that can be solved with a little annotation on top of your controller. So uh, for, for both of the people, whether you know the problem or not, think about it as if you're going shopping for phones, for instance. You look at prices, you look at models, you look what fits your need. You can't just jump to the first thing that you see on Stack Overflow and say, yep, that's the answer, that's it, move on with your day. Always try to evolve, take an opportunity of everything you're working with and, and take advantage of that. And remember, this is really limited by how much time you have. Do you have the whole day to solve that task? Do you have a couple of days? If you have a day or, or two days, do not turn it into a science project. Just look around, give yourself an hour or two to research and find the best answers to, a, to, to similar problems that you've solved before. That'll be it for today. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns, feel free to drop it in the comment section. You'll be surprised by how fast I could uh, respond to your questions. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in another video. Thank you.